Hello everybody, back again with another video. Hope you're doing well. Hope your life's going well. Hope this week has gone well for you and I hope that today has gone well for you. Today is Saturday, Saturday, Saturday. May the 4th, 2024. It is about 9 o'clock a.m. Central Standard Time. I hope everything in your life is going well. I hope it was a productive week this week. I hope that of course, it was a stress-free week this week as well. Um, I'm doing good. Um, right after this video, I'm actually going to go back to my um, old apartment and clean it out. My old apartment, I didn't actually, like, completely get rid of it. Like, my lease on it doesn't end until, like, this upcoming Tuesday, so I have to go back, just kind of deep clean it and um, turn the key in, and um, that'll be it for that place. Um, you know what's interesting about this microphone? Like this microphone actually has a uh, binaural sound mode, so I'm in your right ear, I'm in your left ear. That's interesting. Like, wow. <laughs> Isn't technology crazy? Like, wow. I'm mind blown. I've seen this from um, other ASMR channels on YouTube, but it's just funny. Like, when I'm, when I'm doing it, <laughs> binaural, sorry. <laughs> But yeah, isn't that crazy, y'all? Like, what? <laughs> so, I guess in the future, I'm going to have to do some uh, binaural ASMR videos. Um, I've never done a video. Like, I've never done an ASMR video that had binaural sound. But, I'm going to have to start. Um, I'm very late. I've had this microphone for weeks now. And I didn't realize that. That mode meant binaural. Um, as you can see, I didn't read the whole like um, instruction manual. All these different modes. I don't know. But anyway, some binaural videos will be coming in the future. What I really want to talk about in this video is the fast paced lifestyle, right? And I think that the fast paced lifestyle will ruin you in the long run. And let me tell you why. I think the reason why a fast paced lifestyle will ruin you in the long run. And when I say ruin you, I'm talking about mental health. The reason why a fast paced lifestyle will ruin you is because I don't really think we as humans were designed to be. Um, fast paced creatures right I think that our nature right just how we're naturally supposed to be isn't supposed to be fast paced you know stressed out remember a lot of us are stressed out right and um, it's unnatural to be stressed out remember when we say an animal in nature is stressed out, you know, we feel bad for that animal. You know, it's something causing that animal to be stressed out. And so when we say humans are stressed out, we know it's a bad thing. But I don't think that we really, we, we really understand like how bad it is to be stressed out. Um. That can, it can really mess you up. It can, you know, being stressed out all the time, that can lead to depression, right? And so we really need to, you know, put more emphasis and more awareness on the stress that living this fast paced lifestyle, um, you know, brings upon us. Um, stress stress um 
at least here in the United States, stress is very common because here in the United States, we have this big thing where we just want to chase money, get the bag, as they say. And some people will do anything and everything in order to um, get that bag, right? Get the money, you know, make a lot of money, even at the expense of their mental health. The stress that a fast paced lifestyle can cause will mess you up emotionally, mentally, spiritually, a lot of times physically because you're so stressed out, you're living a fast paced lifestyle. What do you do? You don't have time to cook. You know, you want everything fast. So what do you do? You eat fast food. Why do you think fast food is so popular here in the United States? Why do you think they call it fast food? Because it plays into the um, just the typical mindset, you know, right? Of people who want everything fast, who want everything convenient, right? Fast food, fast paced lifestyle. It all goes hand in hand, right? Think about the invention of a car, right? Cars. We're told that it makes our life easier. And yes, in a way, a car does make our life easier. But really stop and think about what reason was a car even invented in the first place? It was because we wanted things faster, right? We didn't want to take the time to um, go somewhere via walking, via horseback riding. We wanted to get there faster. And, you know, even with the invention of a car, I mean, that kind of is a precursor to the fast paced lifestyle, right? The invention of a freeway, right? The invention of um, just these avenues of just faster because we equate faster with better, you know, think about when you get a package, right? A package, you're happy when the package comes earlier than expected. You're happy when the package comes within a day. There are options online where you can order one day shipping. There are certain companies where you can literally have the item shipped to you by a certain time, right? Like in the morning, although that shipping is going to be quite expensive, but the option is there. Um, but that, that, that goes to show, right? That goes to show that we're fast paced, right? And there are some things, you know, I mean, there are some times where we're going to need things to be fast paced, such as EMS services, um, some sort of medical um, shipment needing to go to a hospital at a certain time that has to be ordered on um, short notice. Yes, that's true. So yes, being fast, there's there's good things about it, but I just think that just the whole lifestyle in general of just wanting everything fast, the stress, the anxiety that that can bring of wanting everything fast, right? It's unnatural. It is unnatural. Um, that's why I say being fast paced in life will ruin you. Um, there are some 
elderly people that regret not live not, not slowing down in life and just always being in rush 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 go 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 mode and they'll tell you i wish i would have just slowed down lived life took life one day at a time and uh right like they'll they'll literally tell you and so yeah um okay so i'm not even sure if this is gonna make sense but another thing that i don't think is talked about as much when it comes to this fast-paced lifestyle we live is just the fact that everything is so far and spread out now i mean just think about the biggest metropolitan cities um were cities even meant to be this big right like if cars didn't exist and we had to walk or horseback ride everywhere i don't even think that cities would be as big as they are and they wouldn't be trying to expand as fast as they try to expand um i think that's just something to think about as well and just think about rush hour right you know this fast-paced lifestyle gotta get to work on time gotta get to school on time right everybody's rushing everyone's tailgating cutting each other off in traffic and this is why you see a lot of traffic accidents happen in the morning and it's the same thing in the afternoon you see a lot of traffic accidents happen in the afternoon because everyone is in this big rush everybody is trying to um, get home right they're rushing to work school they're rushing from work and school you know they're rushing to do everything in life right we want everything fast people speed you know we we just we have to get off this fast mentality um the best things in life take time um, and i've learned that too you know when you rush through things you make mistakes um, accidents happen um you don't get the best quality work out of yourself like say you're at work when you rush to a project or something it's not going to be the best quality right and so the best things take time you know the best things take time i think that um it's the cities right the cities too we have to just think about the city cities are always going to be fast paced in this society and this is this is really kind of why i picked a place that's kind of away from the city like i'm kind of on the outskirts because the pace is slower out here it feels slower it feels more natural right just being in an area that's not as densely populated like my first place i was in a place that was very densely populated right by the um the rail line and um you know it was just a lot you know you'd see um you know you'd hear buses horns um you'd hear i mean you can kind of hear the traffic out here because i live kind of close to the road but it's not as bad as it was when i lived in the inner city that's where I live, the inner city. Um, you could sometimes hear the horns from the rails going by, um, you know, the light rail. And um, it, it was something that back then, it didn't bother me. But the more I think about it and the more that I think about, okay, why are we living this fast lifestyle? It bothers me more. And I had to get away from that. You know, I had to get away from the fast, 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 fast paced lifestyle and slow down. Because even when I would drive around in the inner city, everybody was driving all crazy. You know, people cutting you off, people tailgating. Um, I've literally seen people 
fighting and shouting at each other in bad traffic and it's like that fast paced lifestyle it'll it'll man it'll it'll drive you crazy honestly um let me tell y'all something i was actually in chipotle yesterday sometimes i do buy chipotle i can't lie even though it's a lot of sodium i don't do it too often but i was in chipotle yesterday i, I usually get the uh the burrito bowl like it's a what do you call it like the veggie burrito bowl um it's good by the way <laughs> with the guacamole and everything but um anyway i was in there and it was Friday yesterday at about 7 o'clock p.m. And the line when I walked in there was just about coming out of the door. Like I had to, I had to pass by a bunch of people just to like get inside the place. Because they had the whole door blocked off because it was so many people in there. And you know me, I placed my order online. I'm not about to wait in no line. So I ordered online and, um, man, when I saw the look on these Chipotle workers faces, they just look so stressed out. They look so tired. They were moving all fast and stuff. And I just couldn't help but to think like, wow. And then, of course, Chipotle, I don't believe they pay a whole lot either. I don't think any restaurant pays good money, to be honest with you. But, man, man, Chipotle, I know it's good, but, man, they, but, man, he just, when I saw how fast they were working, um, just that fast-paced environment, I just... I don't think I could do it at this point in my life. Maybe when I was like still in high school or something like that, and that's the only type of job I could do. Maybe, yeah, but at this point, man, I just, I don't know. I'm just too old and slow for all that, to be honest with you. I don't think I could do it. Um, but I, I felt bad, and I was like, you know, maybe I should make my own, like, Chipotle at home. Right? I, I just I just felt bad. I was like, wow. <laughs> but, um, I don't know. I probably still go there every now and again, but... Y'all, it was just a look on their faces. They just... But that, that goes back to the whole fast-paced lifestyle. We live this fast-paced lifestyle, and as you can see, I'm pretty sure you would ask all those Chipotle workers. They'll tell you they're stressed out. They're not happy, but why are they doing it? They have to get the money, get the bag, and that's the um, that that's just how it is here in the United States. It's all about money. You know, we're gonna chase money until the end. Unfortunately. And we act like this is a good thing. It's really not a good thing. Um, yes, you need money, but you want to have that balance of not being so fast paced, not being so money hungry to where you're willing to stress yourself out. You're willing to just do anything for it. You want to have that balance that mental balance between okay you want to have good money but at the same time you want to you want to have good mental health good mental clarity right um, because being fast-paced will mess you up up here it'll mess you up mentally physically spiritually right because you're just not focused you're not completely focused when you're fast paced right you're just thinking about okay i gotta get here on time okay i gotta get this done at a certain time okay i gotta do this gotta do that and i gotta do this by a certain time right 
Where's the time for you? Why don't you just slow down? Why are you creating these circumstances in your life that require you to be fast paced? Right. Right. I'd also say another tip would be to not procrastinate because that's another thing that can lead to you. Um, that That's another thing that can lead to you being fast paced. Right. Being fast being stressed being uneasy because you're going so fast in life right so yeah um that is about it for this video i really hope that you enjoyed this video and the message i want you to take away from this video would be to slow down in life right just slow down in life relax right listen to some asmr be happy, right? These are the things in life that we take for granted. These are the things in life that we don't think about. It's just being slow, relaxing, right? Thinking before you act. Thinking before you speak. Because when you're moving fast, sometimes you don't do those things either. You just kind of, you know, but... Yeah, I do thank you for watching and stay tuned for a video on Sunday.